President Nasheed is the first democratically elected leader of the Maldives, an Indian Ocean country comprising some 200 islands. Many of them are less than two meters above sea level, making the entire country vulnerable to rising seas. At a Commonwealth parliamentary conference, he warned of the consequences of climate change. The Maldives, like many other countries here, is very vulnerable for climate change. We are just 1.5 meters above sea level. I think, in my mind, I would say most of us agree that the science is now sorted. We do agree that the climate is changing, the sea level is rising, the winds are stronger than it used to be, they're not coming on the times they come, the rains come on the wrong time, the dry season is drier than before, where the patterns are shifting. This is very real in the Maldives. Even as we speak, people are having to move their homes because of erosion. President Nasheed called for agreement at the Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen in December on measures to restrict the rise in global warming to no more than two degrees. Anything above two degrees would completely annihilate the Maldives and half of Bangladesh and many, many other countries and nations here. It's very difficult for us to be talking about degrees. When you talk about that, you are actually talking about the destruction of the Maldives and the destruction of many, many other people and countries. We cannot just sit idle and let this happen. We have to be able to find solutions, processes and options on how we may be able to deal with these situations. President Nasheed described the Maldives as a frontline state in the war against global warming. When other threats were recognized as international threats, the international community came out and drew up borders, defined frontline states. Similarly, in climate change, we should now be defining frontline states. In our mind, if you cannot save the Maldives today, you will not be able to save yourselves tomorrow. Maldives is a frontline state. He, this is a big task, it's a huge task. But if we call ourselves responsible politicians, and if we want to deliver an inheritance to our children and grandchildren, we have to be able to find solutions today. We cannot pass on this problem to the next generation. If we do that, it would be too late and we would have reached turning points where we cannot any longer save our planet. Parliamentarians from Commonwealth countries will continue to debate the consequences of climate change for the rest of this week.